Hello class, welcome to this week's discussion of T. Bui's graphic memoir, The Best We Could Do, released in 2017. This memoir is the story of Bui's family, in particular her mother and father, and their relationship and how it connected with her. It's also the story of the ways in which war and immigration affect the lives of people as they go through what for many is the unimaginable. Encountering Bui's graphic memoir, we see the newer entry of Vietnamese authors telling Vietnamese stories. The other, and I'll tell you why this is important. Give you, by exa give you an example. The other day, I was in a bookstore, and I saw a customer asking for any books on Vietnam. The clerk asked if the customer was looking for books on the war or the country. The person at first said both. Then he relented and said, actually, I was looking for books on the war. The, Vietnam, the story of Vietnam, often from an Americocentric perspective, centering on the Americans, uh, begins in the late 1950s and ends in 1975. These are the years of what we call the Vietnam War. Many of you may be surprised to know that in Vietnam, it's not known as the Vietnam War. It's called the American War. In the Vietnam War, U.S. forces lost 58,000 men and women. If you go see the Vietnam Wall, either in Washington, D.C. or the Wall South in Pensacola, you'll see the names of the 58,000 people that were killed carved in granite. It's a very moving space. I have a cousin on that wall who was killed before I was born. His name was Dwight Satterwhite. These, uh, the Vietnamese people, during the same time frame, lost three million people. Whom amongst us could name one of them, or could point to a memorial for those lost, or know their stories? The media knowledge of Vietnam rarely goes beyond the war, despite large Vietnamese immigrant populations and now multi-generational Vietnamese communities throughout the United States. We joins a new group of authors who are finally getting recognition for their stories, whose stories complicate the American narrative of Vietnam, the war, and the country, as well as the people. So when you read uh, her, not, her memoir, uh, The Best We Could Do, I want you to pay attention to themes. One, this work is an immigration story. She talks about what it was like to immigrate to a new country and what people go through to get to America. Two, it's a story of war. If it weren't for the American War, it's likely her family would still be in Vietnam. War is always in the background of this story, and it's the story of how war disrupts everything in the social fabric of a home. And three, it's a story about family, and like many family stories, it's not always pretty. Lastly, I want you to think about how this memoir would read if it were not told in this format, the format of a graphic memoir and how the format of The Best We Could Do changes the way you read and engage with her story. Authors choose mediums for a purpose, and it's likely to have the most effective impact. Claudia Rankin's Citizen, which you may have recently read, could have been written as an essay on racism, but in the form of a poem, it's so much different. It has much stronger impact. Bui's story could have been told as a standard memoir, but what do you think makes this stand out as a memoir that's different than the way she does this in a comic, uh, comic format? So consider this when you're looking at her text. I feel that you'll find the book very engaging. T. Bui's a very talented writer and artist, and it's so refreshing to hear new voices in literature. Bui's story is an important one, and we should pay attention. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask.